We told you earlier this week about how the state is now losing more than $1 million a week because of an expired provision for unemployment benefits, part of the failed COVID relief package. Lawmakers tell Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bayatpour they'd like some of those items to come up as their own bills, but are divided over which ones. One week ago today, the Assembly passed its version of the $100 million COVID relief package with items Assembly lawmakers added on to a package that Republicans in the Senate and Governor Evers had agreed upon as a compromise deal. Governor Evers says those extra items are what prompted him to veto the bill last Friday. As you might recall, those items include banning employers from requiring vaccination and giving the legislature more power over future federal relief. Democrats this week say they want to take up the bill's contents as standalone items. There was broad agreement between Republicans and Democrats on the um, version of the coronavirus bill that was passed by the Senate. Let's take those items and get them passed. We can keep talking about the other stuff. A Republican Senator Dewey Strobel says he would support some standalone bills too, but on other subjects. I definitely know that the most important thing that we need to get is liability reform. And what that is for is that's for our schools, businesses, churches, nonprofits, so they can open without the fear of you know, predatory trial lawyers. A spokeswoman for Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says Republican leaders are discussing the idea of taking up some of those items on their own, but adds there's nothing more to add on that at this time. Reporting from the state capitol, A.J. Bayapur, 27 News.